Do you ever feel overwhelmed, overworked, swamped by tasks at work, at home, maybe both? And do you sometimes struggle to think clearly? Hello, I'm Sally Ann Airy. I'm a leadership coach. I help leaders master themselves so that they can lead others better. And I do this on leadership retreats here in the French Alps where I live. And I also work with people remotely. I'm going to talk to you today about the power of pausing in our busy lives. And I'm going to give you a simple tool that I've shared with hundreds of people over the years that really works. When we're in a state of overwhelm, it affects our ability to see things as they are. It also affects us emotionally. We're easily triggered, we can overreact, we can withdraw from normal life events simply because we can no longer see things as they really are. And in our minds and in our bodies, they get out of proportion. When we react in this way from a triggered place, we can say and do things that we don't really mean. And this can affect our relationships, our relationship with ourselves and our relationships with the people around us. And unfortunately, what often happens is that we hurt the very people who are closest to us. And then we move into a place of regret and guilt and all because we didn't respond in a way that we really wanted to. So when this happens, what can we do about it? If we look at this in really simple terms, maybe slightly simplistic terms actually, in every action and reaction there's a cause and there's an effect. So we can either change the cause or change the way that we react to it. So if the underlying cause of our overwhelm, let's say, is too many commitments, too much work, we can look at how we reduce our commitments or how we reprioritize them in order to enable us to deal with them better. If the cause is something like an external event that's beyond our control, then what we can think about is how we respond to it. Now, in my experience, neither of these are possible without taking a moment to step back, pause, shift perspective, and respond intentionally to whatever's happening. What matters here is creating a moment to think more clearly so that we can see things differently. And from this different place, we can choose to change how we respond. It's empowering and we feel as if we're more resourceful and we have more choice in our lives simply because we took a moment to step back and see what's actually happening. So let's take a moment right now. Let's pause. Whatever you're doing as you're watching this video, consciously pause as if you were pressing a pause button somewhere here inside. And as you pause, bring your awareness to your breath. So consciously breathe in gently without forcing it and consciously breathe out and when I say consciously what I mean is becoming aware of your breath and watching its flow as if you were observing it flowing in through your nose or in through your mouth traveling into your body arriving in your body noticing where it arrives noticing what happens in your body as you breathe in and in your body as you breathe out this is conscious breathing and when we bring our awareness to our breath, it changes something at a physiological level, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. But for the moment, just enjoy this pause and enjoy breathing in and breathing out. And now what I'd like you to do, I'd like you to take either your left or your right hand and place it at the bottom of the sternum, this bone here, round about at the bottom, the top of your abdomen, round about where you can see I've got my hand here. And breathe into this space. So if you were breathing before and your breath was arriving about here, bring your awareness into your hand and breathe into the back of your hand as you might be seeing me do here as I speak. I've been doing this for quite a long time, so I'm very used to it. But allowing your hand to rise and fall as you breathe. 
And what you're doing as you do this, is you're kind of intensifying your focus into this space. And the reason for doing this is that this is a, very, a space of, of a lot of potential energy, of clarity, of independence and creativity. It's known as the solar plexus, and it's a very powerful place in our body, which, and it really serves us to tune into it. And we can only do that if we do it consciously, because we, as we go about our busy lives, we don't normally stop to focus in this place because we're too busy doing stuff. So taking a moment to pause and focus and breathe can be a moment very well spent. So breathing in, expanding, creating space. Breathing out, letting go. I'm just going to close my eyes for a minute and do this with you. I invite you to close yours wherever you are and make this next minute just for you. So when you're ready, open your eyes, keeping a very soft focus. So how do you feel now? And what do you notice that is different in any way to how you felt before we started this simple three-step process? So these three steps I call the pause tool. It's a simple thing that you can do every day, as often as you like, in any moment, to create space between the event and how you respond to it. Pausing and focusing and breathing in this way actually has a calming physiological effect which I discuss more in the workshops that I do on this. But for the moment, I expect you did feel something. And usually what people tell me they feel is some sense of feeling karma. And it's gonna be very individual, very personal to you. There's no wrong or right way or good or bad way. But what matters is that you notice the difference and you decide what to do with that. So this calming, physiological effect helps you think more clearly, gain more perspective, and respond more mindfully to anything that happens. So imagine for the moment that you're in the driving seat of your car. You're driving along the road in a, let's say, 70 kilometer an hour speed limit. There's lots of oncoming traffic, and you pull up along, you know, behind a car that is driving at about 20 kilometers below the speed limit for no apparent reason. You're not in a particular hurry, but you don't particularly want to slow down either. And you, you know, you, you're looking to see what you can do. You want to overtake, but there's all this on oncoming traffic. And you start to notice, if you're anything like me, you start to notice a feeling of impatience, maybe just gentle at first and maybe gradually increasing. And that becomes frustration. 
and you know then all you can think about is overtaking this vehicle who just simply isn't moving as quickly as you'd like it to. So what do you do? Well typically what people do now is they get up very close to the car in front of them and I'm laughing because and I'll explain why but you get up close and all you can see is this vehicle in front. You can't really get a very good view of any space that might be coming in the oncoming traffic because all you can see is this vehicle and you're hoping that by putting pressure on this vehicle that the driver might go faster. Now does that ever happen? Not in my experience. So what happens is you limit your view, you annoy the driver in front of you and you don't actually achieve the outcome that you're looking for which is to overtake. So let's pause. Let's pull back, slow down, create more space between you and the car in front of you. And what happens then? You get a wider perspective. It's like your field of view widens up. You can see the oncoming vehicles and you can see where the space opportunities might be. You've got a better vision, a better view of what's actually happening. And as you pull back and slow down, you feel slightly less frustrated and impatient because you're doing something that's you know getting you to where you want to be and you're in a good place to take the action that's going to work so pull back slow down see your opportunity move out overtake so next time you find yourself triggered or you notice that you were just triggered at any point in that process of being triggered where you notice you're about to react or you did react, press the pause button, create some space, focus, breathe, use your own internal resources to enable you to respond with intention rather than react without thinking and enjoy it. So I hope you found this video useful and if you'd like to do more of this in more depth then please come to the French Alps, come to one of our retreats and it's a great place to pause.